Welcome back to Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Craig. I'm Roger. Today is August the 16th, 2020. On this day, this is the anniversary of Elvis's death, I believe. Yes. And he died in 1977. So, mm, what an embarrassing 43 thing. years. 43 years ago. My wife is a big Elvis fan, and uh, somebody was selling this Elvis bust that is also a decanter. It's kind of a small collection of decanters from the time, which were really popular gifts. And the Elvis ones were some of the most popular. And so this bad boy came loaded with bourbon still. And uh, so when it came to us, it had the seal still intact on the top, but not on the bottom. You could open it up, but uh, so you could kind of get that open. Now it's fully open because uh, it still had the cork in it. This was filled with untouched bourbon. This was McCormick's four-year-old bourbon at the time. So I'm sure, I think that this was filled in either 77 or 78. So this is over 40-year-old, four-year-old bourbon. So we'll see how it compares to some of the stuff McCormick's putting out today. Oh, well, McCormick isn't putting out anything today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's from a completely shut down, I'm sure they got bought out by somebody along the way. Yeah, that uh, was still it yeah, MGP. Yeah, in they, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, they, they're, 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 across the, they're across the border, and they oh. they bought uh, the McCormick Distillery okay. uh, to use for storage because they had plenty of um, you know, uh, warehouses, and they also uh, had a bottling bottling line at McCormick when I was there. I've been there mm -hmm. three times, oh, and, wow. and uh, so in the future uh, I'll bring you some uh, a holiday Doc Holiday. Uh, uh, whiskey that was made there. I, Did I it come in at a Doc Holiday decanter? Uh, no, it's uh, okay. It, 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 uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll 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 bring one that uh, was one of the last uh, bourbons that was distilled there. Cool. So when we tried we tried it on my birthday last year and it was a lot of fun, and so I went ahead and just stuck it into a de another decanter. <laughs> with a good seal. It was very cloudy when we first opened it. Now the, you can see the sediment, sediment has kind of settled yeah. on the bottom. Um, so it has a, a clearer appearance now, although still kind of hazy. Yeah. Well, uh, just pour gently. Yeah. All right. Well, what do we think here? It smells like bourbon. Yeah. Clean smell. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, a little hot. Yeah, just, it, yeah not, 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 not highly aged. Young, obviously. But not too, not too hot on the palate. It's fine. Um, a little chocolatey it, tasting, actually. You no, know, it's. it's maybe picked up something from the cork or something. Yeah, it, so at my birthday party, uh, yeah, we all tried it and uh, I think we were all a little afraid that we might, uh, we might die on the toilet too uh, afterwards, but we were no. all fine. So it, uh, it's, it's still good to drink. That's I cute. It says four-fifths of a quart. Four-fifths of a quart. Yeah, okay. Is it a 750? No, that's that's yeah, we... that's that's what what they used to do. Uh, yeah. A fifth is called a fifth because it's one fifth of a gallon. Yes, okay. And that's four fifths of a quart. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, so when when things began to be more measured in metrics, then they went to 750 uh, milliliters, you know, mm. for for the bottle. So yeah. So how much is this in metric? Oh, I'm I'm not exactly sure. I would have to figure it out. Probably less than a 750. It's probably a little more than the 750. Oh, okay. Because the 1.75 is less than a half gallon. Yeah. So I think I got this for forty dollars. So for forty dollars, if you bought it for the whiskey, you, you made a terrible buy. But <laughs> if you got it for the awesome bust that just happened to have a bonus of 40 year old, four year old whiskey in it, uh, then you're doing pretty good. Yeah. It's fine. Elvis didn't drink, so I mean, I, you know, I can't say it's a great uh, tribute to him, but. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah. And and I do have a little 
correction to make. Um, the whiskey that I'll bring is not a Doc Holiday; it's a JB Holiday. Oh, okay, that's, JB that's what, Holiday. Yeah, it's um, all before my time. I don't know any of those. Yeah, well, it, it was somewhere from the West. Uh, what do you What do you think of the whiskey? Well, I can drink it. Yeah, it's drinkable. A lot of the modern, you know, current whiskeys mm -hmm. would be a good match for this, if not better. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You're gonna anything you buy now, except the very, very bottom, is gonna be better than this. But do you want to take any home with you? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> you can break it back out again at Christmas time. Uh, uh, better yet. We'll leave it here with you and we'll break out on Christmas this way. That way sure. you don't have to travel. Okay, that's fine. Well, uh, cheers to the king. Cheers to the king. And cheers to us and cheers to you. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, uh, comment if you want. Uh, let us know if you got one of these puppies sitting at home that's uh, filled as well. I encourage you to open it because it's not getting any better. And uh, we will see you guys again. Take cheers. care.